always fresh, every day. You're watching Fast Lane Daily. Ford joins the dual clutch revolution, Homeland Security taps the sea creature to stop high speed chases, and the next roadster from Nissan stalks the rumor mill. We'll have all that and an exclusive interview with Henrik Fisker, designer of the luxurious Fisker Karma hybrid sedan. He's awesome. I'm Alex Gazella and you're watching Fast Lane Daily. Volkswagen's DSG brought responsive paddle shifting to the masses with its DSG transmission. Now, Ford says its own dual clutch paddle shift transmission is in the pipeline. Ford revealed the power shift six speed for small cars last week at the Detroit Auto Show in Lincoln C and Volvo S60 concept cars. The dry clutch system is the product of transmission developer Getrag and differs from a similarly named wet clutch system in the European Ford Focus. Ford says the power shift is 30 pounds lighter than the four speed automatic now offered in the US market focus and should offer 9% better fuel economy. No word yet on price, but the power shift is expected to arrive first in Ford's latest Fiesta subcompact and expected to launch in the US by the end of 2009. And if you're on the run from the cops, and who isn't these days, keep an eye out for the squid. That stands for Safe Quick Undercarriage Immobilization Device, but it's inspired by the sea creature and a superhero. Squid is the latest perp stopper from Homeland Security and the product of a group of Arizona scientists who took their inspiration from Spider-Man's web. The squid disc is placed on the road ahead of a fleeing perp. The first explosion sends barbed straps flying out away from the disc, which get hooked on the wheels and undercarriage when the car drives over them. A second device detects engine heat directly overhead and sends a burst of sticky tendrils that attach the straps to the car's axles and drive shaft. Within 500 feet, the car skids to a halt. The system is currently in testing to make sure it can meet the demands of law enforcement. Next up, the internet rumor mill and FLD talks to the man behind the Fisker Karma luxury hybrid. That's all coming up right after this. Fastandaily.com, you could be the editor in chief. You just go to fastandaily.com slash feed, submit your stories. Also run Tumblr, Alan. You know that? You know that, Lens? What's Tumblr? Tumblr.fastandaily.com. Go there and you can catch up on the production. Also, for you Twittering folk, twitter.com slash fastlanedaily. Go there and you know we, we keep you up to date, like up to the minute stuff with what we're doing. So go check that out. Right? Nissan's 370Z has already been spotted on the road following its release last month. Now there's new word on the Roadster version set to debut later this year. CarScoop procured these wireframe schematic images of what the 370Z Roadster could eventually look like. The design images are from Europe's trademark office where Nissan registered the design of the new Roadster last year. Insiders, as well as Common Sense, says the new drop top will sport the same 3.7 liter V6 engine as the Coupe. That engine is rated at 332 horsepower and 270 pounds feet of torque. The Roadster will also likely get the same transmission options as the Coupe. That's a 6 speed manual with rev matching or 7 speed automatic. CarScoop says Nissan is expected to reveal the new Roadster in three dimensions at the New York Auto Show in April. So, what happens when a designer of luxury cars joins forces with a military contractor? You get the Fisker Karma. Fisker unveiled the production-ready four-door last week at the Detroit Auto Show. And that's where Garage 419's correspondent Leo Parente met up with Henrik Fisker to talk about why his car is in vaporware and how a tiny company can bring a plug-in hybrid to market faster than General Motors. Take it away, Leo. We, we are really looking into seeing how the industry is changing, and I think we're leading that change. And I woke up, you know, three, four years ago thinking, how is the future going to look in the car industry? Are we all going to be driving around in ugly little two-seater, underpowered electric cars, or is it still going to be exciting cars? And when I came across the technology, the Q-Drive technology that was really originally uh, developed for the U.S. military, I realized that there was a possibility that we actually can get back to creating some desirable, sexy cars that we love. Well, and that's the other part of it. As a designer, I need to ask you, this is a shape that has some, some great distinction. How would you define, rather than a suit, how would you define the, the cues that represent Fisker design? Well, I think the cues are low, wide, and a lot of sculpture. This is just really what, what I like is the proportions. I, I think you've got to start out by getting the proportions right. And that's very difficult if the proportions start out in the engineering department 
with an idea from marketing in terms of packaging a whole bunch of people. So we didn't start out this way. We actually start out with technology and the idea about creating a fantastic looking design. And, and as a driver, I don't want to lose sight of the fact that, that it's not just green, it's not just uh, art, it's going to perform. Right. Tell me a little please about it. Well, we actually have some of the best suspension engineers on this uh, project. One of them is an ex-Porsche uh, suspension engineer. We have one of the engineers that worked on the Ford GT40. So they're setting up uh, the suspension of this vehicle. I actually gave them my personal BMW M3 to uh, make sure that they uh, benchmark the uh, steering. And then we got a Maserati quarter the port, a BMW 7 Series and a Jaguar XJ to benchmark. So we actually really are looking to create a very exciting sports sedan that actually does for the average consumer over 100 miles per gallon. Well, thanks, Leo. Uh, you know what? I think I'll take mine in black. Well, that about does it for today. This is Vaseline Daily, and I'm Alex Gazella. What if I told you that the future of your dreams can be found today, if you know where to look? Join me in amazement as we discover incredible inventions brought to us by science and technology. WePC TV is brought to you by ASUS and Intel. You dream it, ASUS builds it, Intel inside. <laughs>